We mentioned Harley Ray's name. Uh, I believe uh, we are on the phone right now. Harley, just give me a sense of, of where you are in relation to this. I am actually in my front yard. I am about 50 to 60 yards from where this incident took place. Mm -hmm. uh, they are actually right now taking pictures of the scene. They have, I'm pretty sure they're going to be having a van come out to do some forensic on the officer that was shot, mm -hmm. uh, a grazed actually. But right now, they're, they still got the tape up and they're just doing some investigation work right now. You know, Harley, we saw that you had posted a video online. Uh, what did you see between the interaction between this state trooper and the suspect? Uh, actually, it's pretty crazy because I just got home at that time and went to go check on my chicken. And by that time, I actually seen all of the cop cars passing by thinking that, you know, maybe somebody was getting pulled over or getting arrested. So I popped out my phone to get a video of all the cop cars. And by that time, they had stopped a man coming through the median and they were asking him to put his hands up to get out of the vehicle and he wasn't complying. He shot at the officer and then that's when they just let loose. They weren't giving him any chance at that point. So you didn't really know what was actually unfolding on a, on a larger scale. You thought this was maybe no. a, an arrest that you were um, you were getting on video. Uh, can you tell us about this area where this facility is? Because it's in a pretty remote area, right? Do you know anything about the security around this uh, this this uh, machine plant? Um, well, actually, the machine, I'm not anywhere near the machine plant. There's actually two crime scenes related to this incident. They're probably about maybe 10 minutes apart from each other. Mm -hmm. um, he did all of the horrible scenes at the shop and did a runoff and ended up probably, I, I don't know if you guys know where uh, the 70 interstate is to yeah. get off. Boonesboro. Okay. Uh, it was right there at the roundabout heading towards Boonesboro. Yeah, you're right. There are it's, two it's, scenes, though. She's right, because the, the, the three people that were shot at the at the the company, mm -hmm. but then also the shootout with the suspect. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm looking yes. at I'm looking at a map right now, and I see exactly where t where you're talking about this too, Harley. I mean, it just yes, in, we have two, we have three uh, three helicopters above us right now. Okay. Uh, we are I, I, again. Harley had sent us that that video here to Fox Five, and, and at some point, uh, we hope to bring that to you. There was some some coarse language in it, obviously, because it's some, when something like this happens, you know, people are going to be on high alert out there. But you just get a sense of in that area where there really is just sort of uh, more or less one way in and out of that general vicinity. Why you're seeing such a response, right. uh, as mentioned, Jacqueline matters on the way to the scene right there. And, and you know, Harley, I'm looking at the videos that you sent here, um, and, and yeah, I, I certainly see what you're talking about. Just in in in, in the fact that we do have a few scenes. We have Sky Fox over the scene of one of them. Uh, again, Bickle Road is, is where, where the, the shop was Harley, or is. Can you kind of tell us your reaction to this? Because we have been um, almost becoming numb a little bit to some of these uh, mass shootings that we've been seeing across the country, uh, even just in the matter of days. Having something like this happen so close to where you live, uh, what is that kind of, how does that resonate with you? It resonates with me in a way that, I mean, the world is not safe anymore. I mean, we literally just had a Valley Mall shootout. That's not even 10 minutes from my home with a 19-year-old shot in you're, the chest. You're talking about the one at the, the, the Francis Scott Key Mall, right? No, this was oh. at the Hagerstown Mall. Oh, the Hagerstown Mall, okay. Six. Yes. That's yes. right. That was the one that happened last night. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just I think it's putting a lot of people in an uncertain uh, situation. Do you know anything about this this company, Columbia Machine? Uh, they're in, I know that they are near Mace Auto Body Shop, which is a car auto body shop. But I'm pretty sure this was a gas and oil company. OK. All right. Yeah. Well, here's here's what we're going to do. Uh, Harley, we thank you very much. I mean, I, I completely understand being in that vicinity there and just being frightened and concerned by what's going on because it is it is a small town. It's right on the collar of right. of, of the D.C. metro area. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on what's going on there. Harley, uh, please stay safe. We'll stay in touch with you. We're going to we're going to move on to a couple of other stories we're following. But uh, let us know if you see anything different. And we'll check yeah. back with you and in a little bit. Thank you for sharing that video, Harley. Stay safe. Of course. Thank you. You guys stay safe and you all have a great evening. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.